Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to uh, the final session of the month three. Uh, this is uh, Nellie Deutsch. Just let me know in the chat box if you can hear me and where you're from and uh, anything else you'd like to ask or to add. Well, we've had a very, very rich, enriching and exciting probably challenging for most of us month. It's not easy to... Oh, Buffalo. Nice. I didn't know you're from Buffalo there. Um, people don't realize that uh, we also have lives besides uh, what we learn online. And taking a Moodle MOOC or a Moodle for Teachers Evo, as many of you had taken both and other online courses that I know many of you also take is uh, very challenging, you know, to be able to live your life. Some of you work at a regular job and to also uh, go to all these live online sessions, do all the assignments and everything. So uh, congratulations to everyone for doing what they could this month with everything that was going on. And um, again, Tom, I really appreciate everything that you did, as I know everyone else did, for your support and ongoing, I would say, excitement <laughs> and uh, never giving up with everything. It's not easy to facilitate for so many hours and keep responding to the same questions over and over again. But the way I see it, you know, people wonder, you know, how come you're so patient and how can you respond to people uh, with the same questions? Well, I learn different ways of responding. From the questions, I can learn quite a bit about where I can uh, improve in how I respond to people. So um, it's always great to get questions because they're, they're learning opportunities for everyone, for the one who's asking and for the one that's answering. So I'd like to thank everybody for asking questions. Keep asking questions. Um, a little bit about uh, the presenters. They're all very passionate. Uh, there were 30 presentations and the presenters are from around the globe. We had Cyprus, Portugal, United States, India, the Middle East from various countries, Dubai, United Arab Emirate. We had Malaysia, Israel, Ghana, South America. We had uh, let's see, uh, Canada, Japan, Sweden, Uruguay, United Kingdom. And did I miss a country? I think that's, um, and France, of course, Jason's in France right now. So it's been uh, very, oh, in Australia, I shouldn't forget Liz Walker from Australia. And uh, it's been really, really exciting because the presentations were very, very diverse. Lots of different angles to what people do online. It's all about uh, what is done with technology and the internet online. All right, so uh, let's get started with uh, today's session. Today is... Uh, about what was and um, what is going to be happening in the future. In the future means um, in the next couple of months with the MOOCs. Okay, so we're going to be focusing on a little reflection of Moodle MOOC 3 and 4 on WizIQ. And that rose was in my garden. Okay, so roses don't last, but they're wonderful when they're blooming. This was, uh, I believe, last summer. 
Okay, these, as I said, uh, were the presenters. And there were 30 live classes and 30 tutorials. If you include this one, then it's uh, 31. There were 1,676 attendees, or at least people who enrolled and people who view mostly the recordings, which is interesting. Uh, most of the members of the course on WizIQ view the uh, recordings. And um, there were live presentations, just to uh, recap. There was a Moodle website and a WizIQ course area. The Moodle website is still open and I'll talk about the certificates and how you can get them. And there was a syllabus, of course, of Moodle MOOC 3. Moodle MOOC 3 started on February 1st, and today is the last day. There were two Moodle courses. One was a Moodle for beginners, and one was a Moodle for non-beginners. There were 30 live online sessions that most of them were not related, well, none of them actually were related to Moodle for Teachers. They were related, I would say most of them, to Moodle, but not Moodle for Teachers and the Moodle course. We used tabs this time, which is something that you need to add. It doesn't come with a Moodle. This are, these are the topics that we discussed. Um, there was a Moodle practice area and a Moodle for managers area. In the Moodle practice area, participants were able to work as teachers with editing rights. And in the Moodle for managers, they were able to work as managers, which uh, gives you a lot more um, permission and things that you can do on the Moodle. The weekly badges, they're where there are, you can still get them four badges, one for each week. And of course, the certificate that everybody wants to know. Uh, thank you to uh, Dr. Nayak for um, sending me an email a couple of hours ago asking if I could uh, extend. Naturally, um, I did extend the Moodle courses, Moodle for Beginners and Moodle for Novice, but I forgot to add or make the change to the uh, assignments. Okay, and I apologize for that. So it took me a long time, it took me over an hour, I think. But I managed to uh, hopefully get all the assignments extended until March 8. Okay, so that uh, makes sense because today is the last day and you can't really do it in one day. Yesterday I asked the question, what engages participants? And I think that's uh, what I'm taking from many of these Moodle MOOCs as um, I organize them and co-facilitate because um, Thomas helped me co-facilitate and I'm hoping that uh, Thomas is also going to uh, help out in June. Uh, what I learned was that it's really important to um, get the participants to ask questions, encourage them to explore, watch others, and not only be, be concerned about yourself, and realize that it's a team endeavor. And peer, it's not only support from the instructor, but it's also support from your peers. And I think this is really important because once you, thank you, Thomas, for that thumbs up, because when you support others, you're learning. And, and, and if I could ask Thomas, I know you don't have a mic, but if I could ask you what it was like to be a co-facilitator, to facilitate, um, I think that you would say that you learned a lot. Okay, so you learn when you support someone else because you have to know something exciting. Thank you. You have to know something because it's over, right? You have to know, or at least you have to try to uh, pick your brain to be able to uh, support someone. And when I say support, I mean to uh, try to help them. So um, it's, yeah, you have to learn. And, and that's why it's wonderful to facilitate because it offers you a chance to learn and relearn 
and uh, move forward. Uh, we used Screencast-O-Matic, at least uh, I use Screencast-O-Matic and I encourage the participants to use what I use and I model Screencast-O-Matic. I create all of my, well, most of my tutorials using Screencast-O-Matic. I record these live sessions, uh, this one that I'm recording with Camtasia. But WizIQ is going to allow us to be able to actually uh, get a link of the recordings that is an MP4, so that all we have to do is just uh, upload it to YouTube. So we're not going to have to uh, use Screencast, use sorry, um, Camtasia or Screencast-O-Matic for that matter to record these classes. So that's really exciting. That's coming very very soon. So. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful news because, yes, uh, you'll have a chance to simply take the MP4 and use it as you wish. You will also be able to edit it, which is really exciting. So creating screencast uh, videos promote and sustain learning. So it's great to be able to do something with what you learn. We also used uh, Move Notes. And MoveNote is also getting uh, upgraded. Take a look at it. It's got some new features, a new feature. It's going to have more. It's going to get better and better. All right, so, oh, I see that my connection has just gone to sleep. Please wake up. All right, so um, let me... Uh, and uh, said, hello, I'm here. It said, goodbye. All right, so certificates. Certificates are really important for most of us because we can actually put them up. I don't know. I've got some certificates. I have all kinds of certificates here, but I don't have my PhD certificate up. It's still in a, which is so strange. I told my husband I have to. It's still in a, um, it's wrapped up, even though it's been, um, about four years, five years. So yes, it's good to have a certificate. You can collect these. These are real important. You can keep them online. You can create a portfolio, e-portfolio and keep them there. So these are good. The presenters. Okay. Are there any presenters here? Uh, Dr. Nayak was a presenter. Dr. Ramesh, welcome. Uh, any other presenter here? By the way, everyone's welcome to present at the next MOOC or the coming MOOCs whenever you're ready and available, you will get a presenter. Okay, so this is just a demo of myself. I don't give myself certificates and so don't, don't think I do this. I mean, I never thought about it, but uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, so for each MOOC, you get a, a certificate. Okay, this is the presenter certificate. All you have to qualify for that is simply to uh, give a presentation. Um, okay. I took away my webcam. It said that it's getting the video is um, a bit strong. These are um, images. I guess they're, um, I don't know why it's taking so long. Let me go on to the next one. Do you see the next one? Because it seems to be kind of stuck. Oh, Mahara! Susan, where did you hear about Mahara? I would love to get people involved in my Mahara. <laughs> I have a Mahara. Okay, um, it's, uh, it's over here. And I would love to. Thank you for reminding me. I'm just waiting for a reason to use my Mahara. Uh, I hope you can hear me because I think there's something strange on my connection technology.org. There's my Mahara. And I'm really um, looking forward to uh, using it. So, um, oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Um, my connection is okay. Mahara is wonderful. Um, so, yes. I will do that. I'll try to get one of a few sessions in March. 
uh, on the Mahara. Okay, thank you for the reminder. Okay, and this is the beginners. Okay, so um, this is the beginners mood uh, certificate. Okay, so beginners can get a certificate of completion. Of course, you'll have your name there. It's just Moodle. Don't forget, Moodle tracks and does uh, all kinds of exciting things. So that's tracking by uh, Moodle. And then it's Moodle, Moodle for beginners. In addition, Now let me go on to the next one. It's telling me to get rid of my webcam, but when I try to get rid of my webcam, it won't let me. Um, so for beginners and for non-beginners, I can't get rid of my webcam. Sorry. Um, there, it told me I was going to lose my connection, but I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I took away my webcam. I, I was finally able to do that. Okay, so these are the certificates. And how do you get a certificate for Moodle MOOC 3 or MM3? Is was like, no, no, everything's fine. It's just my, no, it's just something, uh, something personal with my internet connection. No, it has nothing to do with my internet connection, actually. It's just something uh, that I'm playing around with on my uh, Mac. Okay, so how do you get a, um, a certificate? Okay, so um, can everybody hear me right now? Um, are you with me on this audio working? Uh, let me know in the chat. Uh, can you hear me or did I disappear? I know I see myself, but can everybody hear me? Let me know in the chat because I don't see uh, any response to my audio, even though I see going up and down. Or am I a ghost again? Won't be the first time. I've been a ghost before. So uh, let me know in the chat if you can hear me. Um, you can see me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Are you able to hear me? Let me know. I guess not. So we're not connected. All right. Um, I hate that. We're not connected. Um, I see that I'm connected, but no one sees me and the bar is going up and down. All right. So, um, I guess nobody can hear me, which is really weird. Okay, so let me just um, try to, uh, I don't know if I should pause. I'm not going to pause. I'm just going to, uh, oh, this is so weird. Okay, let me, uh, okay, what I'm doing now, um, Okay, so um, are you able to hear me now? It's really what happens is I see you, I hear myself, I see everything, but for some reason we're not together. It's like we're in limbo. Okay, yeah, it's a funny kind of limbo where I see the bar going up and down. I see that I have um, audio, but you guys and I are, it's, it's like in the twilight zone as Susan says. So if I get in the twilight zone, uh, I'm here, <laughs> even though you don't see it, you don't hear me. All right. So, um, okay. So what you need to do to qualify, as I've been saying, is you need to watch 10 recordings and respond by uh, text using 500 words. 
as well as by using MoveNote or Screencast-O-Matic. I highly recommend MoveNote. It takes longer. Screencast-O-Matic is a lot faster. So, and you don't have the time, use Screencast-O-Matic. Questions? Um, no, 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 no. Can you let me know if you're with me so I know that you can hear me? Let me know in the chat if you are with me because I keep refreshing my page. I feel that we're not connected because you're not with me. So let me know in the chat. Are you with? Oh, you're with me. All right. Let me know every once in a while because, um, as I said, um, there is a place in between us. There is a twilight area. All right. So that's the uh, certificates. The presenters at Moodle MOOC 3, um, these were some of the presenters. May, me and her husband are now on a trip. They are creating a movie, should be really exciting. It was nice of them to come. Kiran is a filmmaker. Uh, Jason R. Levine is busy uh, in France. Cheryl is traveling around the world right now or in the United States, uh, trying to do things differently. She'll be back for the Spring Blog Festival in two weeks. She's going to be presenting. Dr. Brian Alexander is re recuperating from an, an accident, but he was fine when he came. He was after the accident. Dr. Glenn Gatton, Graham Stanley um, is going back to Uruguay. Sylvia is going to be helping organize and she's going to present at the Spring Blog Festival. Lalander is busy and um, always has time to help out. Uh, Ebba is going to be presenting at the uh, Spring Blog Festival. And I hope that you will too. So will Ludmilla. Shelley will be presenting at the Moodle at the uh, Spring Blog Festival. And so will Nelly. Zaid has already signed up for Moodle MOOC 4, so he's going to be presenting. Uh, Vance, I believe, will also be presenting at the Spring Blog Festival. And so will Liz. Liz will be presenting at the uh, Spring Blog Festival, and she'll be presenting at Moodle MOOC 4 along with Ebba. So there are a lot of people that keep coming back and I often wonder you know these are very caring people Stephen Downs wants to present at the spring blog festival he's going to be busy so is Kurt and um, but we'll have some interesting people so stick around uh, yes that's right Danny he did have problems all right, so what's next? Okay, big question marks. Well, little question mark. What's next, everybody? What's next? I'm going to be green today. What's next? Moodle MOOC 4. That's right. And this is what it looks like right now. I haven't created a video yet because I'm waiting for the presenters. But there will be live presentation. There's a syllabus already for Moodle MOOC 4 and there'll be two courses. They're already set up. Everything was set up during Moodle MOOC 3. So Moodle MOOC 4 is already set up for the beginners and for the non-beginners. Ah, Justin, of course, of course. Justin will probably be back. Um, Justin is amazing. He's probably going to have new things, Danny. Um, yes, exactly, for Moodle MOOC uh, Moodle 2.6. Of course, uh, Moodle MOOC 4 will include Moodle 2.6. We're moving over, maybe 2.7 by then. Uh, we'll be moving over to Moodle 2.6 next week or after you finish your, um, after I guess, maybe we'll have to wait around now because of May, of March 8. Uh, that's um, in the making already. We're getting ready for that. Yes, you know what? Um, I guess every year they move up. We just want to make sure, um, Abilash, we want to make sure that it's stable so we don't go into um, 
the new um, upgrade until we until it goes into, for example, 2.7.1 or 2.7.2 uh, to make sure that it's stable. All right, so what's next? Moodle for Teachers on Moodle for Teachers. And this is how you can get to the course. If you open uh, Moodle for Teachers and the website for Moodle for Teachers is just what it says, Moodle for Teachers dot org okay dot org there it is and what you need to do is you go at the top you go into courses on Moodle for teachers by the way I want I'm looking for people who are interested in designing the front page of Moodle for teachers so if you know anyone of course uh, on a volunteer basis because uh, this is all volunteer I don't get paid for what I do and I can't pay anyone um, but we if you have ways of getting sponsors that would be great then everybody can get paid uh, even the participants wouldn't it be nice if we could pay the participants for taking the courses I mean instead of making courses free pay money to people for taking courses I mean that's the next stage I think of um, what's going to happen on the internet you get paid for taking courses for free and you get paid so um, I'm looking for people to um, get the uh, front page looking a bit better. You go into courses for Moodle for Teachers and then you go into uh, Moodle MOOCs and then you'll find Moodle MOOC 4, Certificates for Presenters. It's already ready. Moodle MOOC 4, Moodle for Ma Oh yes, I forgot to tell you, yes. Uh, there's Moodle for Managers where you can practice Moodle for Moodle practice area for teachers and Moodle MOOC for beginners and Moodle MOOC for non-beginners. Okay, that's available already. And of course, there's the uh, Moodle MOOC 3 that you can also see and uh, what's happening there. Any questions so far? <laughs> Any questions in the chat? Any questions from anyone? Feel free to uh, ask questions. I'm not sure whether you can register. Um, it right now you can register on WizIQ, and I'll give you the go uh, when you can register on the Moodle. What happens with Moodle? Moodle is very active, Danny, and what happens is everybody starts responding. And I cannot, for the life of me, not respond to someone because the course has not started. And starting to respond to people in, um, right now we're in February, or March, is a bit ridiculous. And then, you know, what happens when June gets here, you're going to be tired. So, so it's like starting it, yeah. So we're going to start, it's going to start in June. You can check it up. But in the meantime, um... Moodle for managers only for managers. It's just a manager's uh, course. If you could um, add in the chat box, anybody have the link to um, MM4? If you have, you could add it in the chat. That's where you can join right now. Okay. Anybody have that? If not, I can get it. Mispa, um, you want to volunteer? That's great. That's great, Mispa. Uh, feel free to email me or send me a message through WizIQ, and that would be great. Thank you. Volunteers are always welcome. Thank you so much, Abhilash. Uh, and Tom for adding that. Okay, so that's the link to Moodle MOOC 4. Okay, join that. So far, I think about 600 have joined. That's where we can connect in the meantime until um, Danny, until uh, 
we get started. However, there is the uh, festival. The uh, There are a lot of things on Wiz IQ. There's something every month. In March, from March uh, 14, let me just add this, March 14 to um, 16, there's the Spring Blog Festival. Okay, with um, Sylvia Ganan and Shelley Terrell and myself, we're organizing it. Okay, that's in March. That's a weekend of seminars. And then in April, there's going to be a the first um, Second Life MOOC. And the Second Life MOOC is organized by um, Dr. Nancy and Dr. Doris and myself, and it's going to be on Second Life streamed on WizIQ and vice versa. So it's going actually it's going to be on WizIQ streamed in Second Life both ways. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of screen sharing from Second Life. So that's a whole month of Second Life. And then I think in May there's uh, the ELT MOOC with Jason R. Levine in May. And then June is the MOOC. So there's something every month, actually. Okay. Um, and then in September, there's a special MOOC on well-being. If you're interested in well-being and health, uh, healthy mind and body, body and mind, in, um, in September. So that's going to be uh, a MOOC to start off the school year. Or the end of the summer, the beginning of winter in the northern hemisphere. So, um, and then in August, of course, there's the Moodle Moodle Moot 14, which is also a weekend of. Um, so there's something every month. Okay, yeah, it's exciting. There's something every month, and um, you're all welcome to join. All right, now if you want to practice and you want to become a Moodle teacher. And you don't want to wait till June, but you want to start practicing. And it is about practice. And you want to teach online because the idea behind Moodle is to teach online. Okay? Uh, it's not only learning to Moodle, but it's actually teaching. Uh, many of you may be teaching at a university, but maybe you want to teach on your own. Maybe you'd like to connect with learners and uh, give free classes or paid classes. Okay, it's up to you. If you want to become a Moodle teacher, I am renting Moodle courses. In other words, you can I can create a course for you. You'll get support for a whole year. And this is on IT for All. Okay, and IT for All is, uh, for those who don't know, is Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning. Um, there is the link, Integrating. Oh, wow, that's a long one. Who did that? Technology. That's a long link. What is that? Oh, Thomas, that's not where you get the link. Woo, that's a long one. You can get a shorter one. Yes, thank you. Uh, integrating technology. And I'll sh tell you where it is. It's already ready. <laughs> no short link. Uh, let me check that. If there's no link, we should, we have to add it. Um, there is integrating technology. And actually, uh, the Moodle Moot is on uh, Moodle Moot dot integrating technology uh, technology dot org. Okay, that's Moodle Moot integrating technology dot org, and above that, this is where you can rent. Okay, I'm going to have a WizIQ course for those who cannot pay, who don't have credit cards because you rent for a year for $65. Each course is $65, but um, if you don't have credit cards and you don't know how to pay and you don't have PayPal and so on, you can do this through WizIQ. Okay, so there's going to be a course on WizIQ called Rent a Moodle, Rent a Moodle and Get Support. Okay, so this is what the course looks like. It's very simple very simple. It's not complicated at all. Um, what you need to do is share information with me, what you want, the name of the course, description of the course, and then um, 
I will create the course for you as the admin of this particular Moodle, and then you'll get ongoing support for a whole year for, for the course. If the course is a year, if the course is less than a year, then less than a year. Okay, so that's the idea. Um, and that's it. All right, so we've got a few more minutes for questions. Okay, this is, uh, I have to confess, this is from uh, Dr. Ludmila Spranova. She always uh, adds that to uh, the slides, the PowerPoint slides. So um, are there questions? I'm so glad to hear that, Danny. I'm so glad. And it's just the beginning. You know, it, it's a process. Uh, it really is a process. And, and the key is to, to do what you'd like your students to do. And that is um, not to sweat, as Richard Carlson says, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff because it's all small. So if things don't work out, they don't work out. They'll work out next time. Uh, Thomas, I see your hand is up. Will I have the pleasure of hearing your voice? Can I pass on the mic to you? Is it possible for us to have a course on? Yes, there is a course at Pilash. Uh, there are a few courses on integrating technology for active lifelong learning. You're invited to go into those to join if you want to. There is a course on instructional design and you're invited to join that. Take a look at on again, integrating technology for active lifelong learning. Okay, there it is. You can also find it on the Moodle on the top. Yes, uh, Rachel Sale had, um, no, she teaches instructional design at her university. Uh, but the course is ready. Is there a way to have a Moodle course and use those lessons to fulfill my WSIQ commitment? I'm not sure I understand, Susan. I need a, to, oh, you need to multitask. Multitasking is my middle name. That's great. Uh, Susan, not was IQ, I mean, oh, Wiki Educator. I was wondering what your commitment was. Um, we could do that. Uh, we could have, oh yes, we mentioned Ramesh is here. We did mention something, Dr. Ramesh, at least I did, about creating a Wiki Educator course on WizIQ. That's right. So that um, we could do uh, something on Wiki Educator. That's true. That's true. All right, for those of you that are interested in um, courses, there are courses on integrating technology for active lifelong learning. Anything else? But I'm not sure, Susan, what you mean. If you want to have a course on Moodle, sure. Um, as I said, you can rent a course on Moodle and um, you could do that. Any other questions? All right, as Thomas said, um, there's the link where we can continue the discussions. Um, and by the way, the first Moodle MOOC, I didn't speak about that, has 2,997 members right now. So if you join, it'll be 3,000. I'm just kidding. And the second one, or the third one, yes. The second one is combined, actually. You like Poodle. Me too. Poodle is great. And it's going to be better. Google it. Google what? Let's 
sent from you. Can I share lessons between the two formats? Oh, the other poodle. Yes, sorry, Thomas. I always get that mixed up. You mean the other one, the poodle, this poodle. Um, and not and not this poodle. Yes, there are two poodles. You're right. Um, oh, I misspelled the first one. Yes, there's a poodle and there's poodle jason's poodle which are not the same susan i'm not i'm trying to understand and i share lessons between the two sure of course you can that's what i did a long time ago uh, i combined the two poodle portable moodle yes that's right any other comments or questions a list of all, oh my gosh. Uh, Danny, do you know how many plugins there are? There are over 300. There are, there are a lot of, some plugins disappeared. Like there used to be a WebQuest. People keep asking me about the West WebQuest plugin uh, because I was um, one of the people involved with a developer. We worked together on it, but uh, it's gone. Some of them are gone. Some are still there. There are a lot of plugins, but if you write Moodle plugins, you should be able, to, if you see one that you like, I will add it to it, to your course. Okay. So if you see a Moodle plugin that you like, I will add it to the course that you rent. Okay. So anything that you like, for example, Udmila liked the one the tabs so I added the tabs okay so um, search you've got lots of time search and find some new uh, new ones uh, Thomas and I are looking for something uh, for frequently asked questions if you know of any uh, plugin that we can add to Moodle frequently asked uh, questions that would be great No, we have the tabs. That's the, uh, we have the tabs. We just need uh, something for the frequently asked questions. Oh, right, right, the help desk. That's right, that's right, Thomas. That's the one, it's not the fact. It's not the fact, it's the help desk plugin. That's right, help desk. Yeah, send me, um, you can add that either on WizIQ, uh, which you'd like to have. Uh, in uh, Moodle MOOC 3 or Moodle MOOC 4. And um, yes, I've seen it. I don't know what the problem is. I think maybe it's not, it hasn't been updated. I know it's there. It's just I forgot about it. You're right. And anything else that you think would be a good idea? Oh, the ePortfolio. Yes, um, that's right. And combining Mahara into the Moodle. You can bring Mahara into the Moodle. So uh, that's an idea too. Excellent. Right. Um, we'll be taking care of that next week. Okay, the Mahara. And then I'll get uh, maybe a course on WizIQ just for Mahara. Exactly, Abhilash. Exactly, that's the idea. And whatever you want, um, if it doesn't cost money, unless you're willing to pay for it. No, uh, whatever you want, whatever is free, because some plugins are not free. So, um, you mean the Mahara, Susan? You don't mean uh, something else, do you? Yes, exactly. And I also need to get um, Google Drive into the Moodle. It wasn't working properly for some reason. I have to fix that.
Okay, so together we can come up with uh, a great frame for uh, learning. Let's see, box. Yeah, the box, the box. Yes, because the box, the box. I don't even know if I like the box. I like Dropbox. I'm not sure if I like box. Um, anybody use uh, box or Dropbox? I don't know how many people use uh, box. No. Yeah, Dropbox is nice. Uh, yeah, but there's also box, which I don't really like. Oh, hello, is IQ training. Good to see you. Um, yes. I don't pay anything. Why would I pay anything for it? No, I, I don't believe in, uh, I only store on there now. You do? No, I, I use Google Drive for storage. Even though, as, remember from Stephen's presentation, he mentioned that it's not a good idea to store. Uh, I think it was Stephen, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Stephen said it's not a good idea to store on the cloud or uh, on anywhere. Uh, you should get your own server. Okay, so Stephen Downs has his own server <laughs> uh, because he's paranoid about losing data. Oh, you pay, do you? Okay, so that's another story. Oh, that's true. That's very true, Thomas. Uh, people don't realize that they're the private files. Uh, that's right. There sure are a lot of options. All right, so um, Thomas, your hand is still up. Why is your hand up? Oh, you did. My personal cloud. That looks interesting. I mean, I use Mac. Do you use Mac, Danny? Oh, you do that. Well, yeah, I have it too. Um, what's not free? Oh, you can speak? Well, all right. This is a treat. You've got, I'll extend the class. Okay, here's our uh, King Thomas. Here, here. The king is here. <laughs> Can everybody hear Thomas? Because I see it going around and around. Uh, I also I sent your to your webcam. I'm not sure if that's what you wanted, but um, and you're not. I don't think you're on a Susan. You should use the desktop. Highly recommend. Either tr Why do you have Daddy? Do you have a trumpet there? Announce him with a trumpet. Da -da -da -da. Somebody extended. Who extended the class? I didn't extend the class. Who extended the class? I th Nelly, Nelly, Big Bang, Big. Bang. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta have my water here for this. Actually, that's soda. Um, no, Susan, it only opens when you, uh, when you open a class, it doesn't open otherwise. <laughs> well, he lives in a warm country. I mean, it's warm right now in Venezuela. You don't, Susan, I think that maybe you're not, maybe you misunderstood. The desktop stays on your desk. Um, when you uh, open a class, it opens through the desktop. So you click on the link and then it opens up. I don't know if there's a waiting time or anything, but I, I'd love to help because the experience is a lot better. I know it's a lot better because I have it on my PC that I don't use, but I mean, if I have no choice, I will use it. So Thomas is going round and round and round and round, but it's not getting there.
You use Firefox on your Mac? Ooh, why don't you use Safari? I would not use anything but Safari. Safari, see, certain things go with certain things. Firefox goes with PCs. Chrome goes with PC. But Safari goes with a Mac, and it goes really well. I would not use Firefox. Oh, use both. Uh, I love Safari on my Mac. Oh, it is for some things. I don't like Firefox. I have not liked, I mean, I used to like it many years ago, but I don't like it at all. Uh, the WizIQ icon shows when I start my computer and then disappears. That, you don't have to click on anything. That's the point, Susan. You don't click. It's automatic. It does it for you. They're so live. They sure are. We're real people. But I can't get anybody else up here. I'm trying to get crashed. Oh, it crashed. No wonder it was going round and round and round. And it crashed. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. It must have been because of the bright light coming from Danny's um, smiley. It doesn't seem to be going through for some reason. Yeah, it, it seems to say no, no. Um, I don't know why. Thomas, let me try with the audio first because I'm trying the webcam and it doesn't seem to want to go through. Um, I really think you should get WizIQ to take... Oh, there! The Your mic is open. Do you hear anything? Thomas? Where are the trumpets? Da -da -da -da. Oh, I have a bell. Where's my bell? I have a bell somewhere. What happened to my bell? I had it. Oh, there's my bell. I have a bell. Thomas, we don't hear you. Maybe that's why. Um, Let's see, you're using, you're, you have very fast port 1935. I don't know if that's a good thing. Does anybody hear uh, Thomas? Cowbell. Yeah, I have a cowbell that my husband brought from Thailand somewhere in the basement. Yeah, this isn't good, right? This is a chicken bell. A rooster, actually. It's a rooster. See, there's the rooster. It's a rooster bell. Rooster bells are not very good, right? They don't make a noise. <laughs> so, Thomas, we don't hear you. It's not working. We're going to have to wait till the next MOOC. Or to the web quest today. We have a class today. Susan, this will give you a chance to try out. Uh, today, we're going to have a session Q&A on web quests. Oh, you like my bell? It's cute, eh? I mean, the chicken's cute. I don't even know where it's from, but um, I like bells. It looks Turkish or from the Far East. Okay, Thomas, um, we don't hear you. Yes, it's going to be um, soon. I suggest you contact WizIQ. I can connect you if you have a Skype. Thomas, I'll connect you right now with WizIQ. Um, my Skype is um, Nelly Deutschmuller. Okay, it's, it's my full name, but the other way. Okay, Nelly Deutschmuller. That's my Skype. So Thomas, connect with me and I'll connect you with WizIQ so that we can hear you today at the WebQuest. So everybody get your um, headsets ready so you can speak today. Okay, so um, gargle if you have to. <clears throat> so uh, your sound is good. We're going to have a live talking session the way Helena likes it. Okay, open up all the... Um, the mics at two o'clock. Okay, so see you there. 
in um, another hour, right? See you in another hour. Alina, <laughs> you're funny. You are so funny. I love your sense of humor. <laughs> love it, love it. This is a real family, a real family. Thank you, everybody. See you later. And thank you for being awesome on Moodle Mook 3. Thank you. Abrigado. What else can I say? Uh, tac. Gracias. Merci. Grazi. Danke. Toda. Thank you. How do you say it in Polish? Let's see, what is Polish here? Uh, Gozon. Oh, no, that's Hungarian, I guess. Gozonyuk. Gozonyuk. That must be Hungarian. Arigato gozamasu. Arigato gozamasu. Oh my gosh. In Hindi. Denyabad. Denyabad. Oh my. Okay, we really do have to teach one another to say this in different languages. Thank you.